Hey guys, so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how to boot directly into an emulator game using a desktop shortcut. Um, so let's say you would like a bunch of desktop shortcuts for all your different emulator games, then you can use this and it will boot directly into the game. Um, kind of like how it would be if it, you know, it was on PC, which I think is pretty cool. But the main reason I wanted to do it specifically was for creating Blade 2 Remastered. Um, I wanted Blade 2 Remastered to be a straight up PC port in a sense. I wanted it to act like a PC port, so that's why I wanted to do this. Um, but yeah, so there's not much documentation about how to do this online, um, surprisingly, because it's actually really simple. So I thought I'd make a quick tutorial um, on how to do it because I had to kind of figure it out on my own. So what you need is you need a the directory for your your emulator games so this is mine here and you also need a directory for your emulator as well which is on my desktop here um that's basically all you need um obviously getting an icon and all that is optional so i'm going to be using cold fear um and i've got an icon that i'm going to use right here um as an example um you, you can obviously do whatever you want with that um yeah, so it's really simple. So what we want to do is I'm going to use this folder to, to, to do it in because my desktop is an absolute mess and I can't be bothered moving everything around just so I can get a clean desktop to, to show a desktop icon. So I'll just do it in this folder. You want to right click, create new shortcut. Obviously, you can do this on your desktop as well. And here's where we're going to basically set up what this shortcut is going to boot. So first things first, we need the directory for the emulator itself. So you just want to open the folder where your emulator is installed, which is on my desktop here. And then you want to just double click. Uh, so just click this and then copy that and paste it in. And then we want to do another forward slash. And then we want to get the name of the emulator itself. So or the exe that boots the emulator. So, so PCSX, PCSX2, and then it, will sh it should show up because it, it, I think it reads the directory. So we click that. And now obviously that, that's all well and good if you press next and open this it will boot straight into the emulator itself but that's not what we want we want it to boot the iso for the game so what we want to do is come over to where our, our games are installed and then we want to again copy the directory um so you want to do space and then you want to do a quote quotations paste then forward slash and then you want to type in the iso for the game so for me, it's uh, Cold Fear um, USA dot ISO. And then, oh my God, I wish I could type. And then another quotation mark to finish it off. So that's it. That's all you need to do. So when I press next now, this will boot directly into the game. What it does is it, it, it tells it to boot the emulator. And then within the emulator, it will start that basically so this will work so i press next um we can name this or the cold fear and there we go so obviously it's going to be using the icon for the emulator itself um i'll show you how to change that one thing to note which is very important when doing this is the directory folders for your emulator and for um the games the folder it's i don't think it works for this one because this one it's it, it has a space <clears throat> but i think the directory folder that you initially boot into so so this one for example um so this is the name of my folder and it's also right here um it can't have any spaces in or it, it won't work it'll give you an error or something like that so you need to make sure that the folder where the emulator is installed doesn't have any spaces in basically um, so now we're going to do, uh, we're going to change the icon. So this is the icon I'm going to use. So you want to open this website here. It's Ico Convert. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. You just drag in. No, not like that. Drag in the file. Then we want to upload it. And then when it's uploaded, you just want to scroll down. Make sure Ico for Windows 10, 11, 7, and 8 is ticked. And just press Convert. Um, and then we want to download it. You don't need that website anymore. Now we've got our icon. 
It's literally as simple as change icon. Um, um, browse to the folder. Icons. Wait, is it this one? Oh, it's, wait, where is it? Why have I got so many folders on my desktop called icons? What the hell? Is it just showing them all? Oh, it's here. I'm absolutely blind. So just click the icon. Press OK, apply, OK, and there we go. So now that's set up. So now if I double click this, it will boot straight into Cold Fear. Now, depending on how slow your emulator, like how many games you have installed on your emulator itself, will depend on how fast it will boot. So I'm just going to, I'm going to close that because it's loud. Um, yeah, so when you close the game, it will still keep your emulator up. Um, that's fine. Depending on how many games you have installed in the directory will de depend on how long it takes to boot. So with like Blade 2 Remastered, obviously I have a portable PCSX2 build that only has one game in it. So when you do it with that, it's like instant. Um, but with this, obviously, it, it, it shows this for a couple of seconds before it boots in. But it, it works. That's all you need to know. So that that's basically it. Um... That's all you need to do, pretty much. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped.